But, you know, many of the homes in urban areas, and I'm sure in suburban areas will follow as well, in dense environments are experiencing about, you know, give or take some 15 to 25 Wi-Fi devices in the home, right? And you do the math, a family of four, four cell phones, four PCs, a couple of televisions, you know, a few IP cameras or Wi-Fi, you know, your thermostats, your sensors, and very quickly, you graduate to 20 devices, and this is just the beginning. The market prediction is in three to five years from now, the device count, Wi-Fi device count in the home is gonna be 50, and just imagine if you're in a multi-dwelling, like this picture shows, and every neighbor is in that neighborhood of devices, Wi-Fi devices, how much tripping of Wi-Fi network would be taking place across neighbors, across uh, you know the ceilings and whatnot. And as a result, the experience cannot be justified over Wi-Fi networks with the existing technologies that are there. And 11AX helps you dramatically on the capacity utilization from that dimension point of view. The same thing in enterprises. When I say enterprises, it's not only companies, it's also schools, as more and more schooling programs graduate to you know, some gadget-based, tablet or PC-based uh, you know, classroom experience for every student. It's extremely uh, congested as more and more things happen in schools and universities on a going forward basis. Other big experience is in stadiums and venues. There's a lot happening from the dimension of uploading and downloading over Wi-Fi. Sometimes LTE is not able to kind of suffice all the needs and the capacity that's expected in some of these venues. And so Wi-Fi becomes a phenomenal avenue to offload LTE networks. And when Wi-Fi in today's form gets congested, you have a huge problem and a deterring experience in some venues like these like stadiums and stuff like that. And 11AX definitely is a recipe that comes to rescue Wi-Fi networks in a big way. So as Qualcomm, we led the market in, on many fronts. Uh, and through our 30 years of innovation and combining and bringing intellectual property from various learnings, be it cellular world, be it in the Wi-Fi world, with 11AX, we are very confident that the solutions that we are bringing to the marketplace are gonna be exactly what the market's gonna need for the next three to five years on uh, 8.0.11 networks through 8.0.11 AX. Okay, thank you. Questions? Hi, uh, Will Stavega, IDC. Uh, just a quick question. Would do you envision this uh, technology to effectively end the horrible extender market, where you know things where you have uh, a, you have devices able to go up slight, in slightly different uh, uh, bands? Uh, it's a horrible experience, and a lot of people put them in apartment places for uh, buildings for for obvious reasons. How do how do you see that playing out? 11ax uh, on a going forward basis. Uh, I do believe with, uh, I'm gonna get a little bit into the technology jargon. OFDMA is the technology for modulation that's getting adopted by 11AX. OFDMA is a major page out of the cellular reliability dimension. Wi-Fi with 11AX graduates from OFDM to OFDMA in terms of modulation technology, and that brings a certain reliability that we experience with cellular into the Wi-Fi networks. And so in these congested environments where people are using repeaters, I anticipate the repeater market or this distributed Wi-Fi subsystem market to graduate to at very quickly to use OFDMA to backhaul between the various nodes in the home basically to the router or form whatever you know, mesh networking or star topology, whatever they want to use, but OFDMA becomes the backbone. There are many other things in 11AX protocol that helps improve the reliability dimension dramatically. So 
um, you know, it, it is going to add substantial amount of reliability to the distributed Wi-Fi subsystems uh, today in the home. That is just about to, uh, just, just kind, of, kind of getting it up to it right now. Um, when are we going to see uh, a, when are we going to see AX routers and clients in quantity in the retail market, and when are we going to see it uh, included in SOCs? Um, so, I think uh, one question is one one part of your question is very specific to Qualcomm. Uh, my anticipation is, having known this market and how it operates, my anticipation is uh, I'll talk based on what Qualcomm is doing. We anticipate sampling both of these devices to our early access customers in the first half of this year, so no later than summer this year. And then if I go revisit history on various Wi-Fi technology launches, I would, uh, if history was to repeat, I would expect major brand names launching routers in retail channels, Best Buys of the world, Amazons of the world, uh, sometime in the second half of this year. And then I would expect, again, if history were to repeat, in six to nine months of launching routers, uh, first routers, the first uh, you know, client devices showing up. So by first half of 18, uh, uh, expecting client devices. And then more likely, uh, major ramp across uh, routers and uh, clients beginning uh, in the second half of 2018. So, you know, history would be revisited, basically, and repeated. This is how the progression would take place. All right, thank you, uh, thank you, Rahul. Okay. Thank you. Again, there's no embargo on 